okay I just wanted to do this video real quick to go over the TV that I bought last summer in May it's been a really nice TV it's uh, the Sony 65 inch XBR X850 they no longer make this one anymore unfortunately it's been replaced by the 850C which is an Android powered TV which I don't really care too much about that because I don't use smart features in a TV anyway because I have a smart desktop and I also have a bunch of video games that adorn my uh, table here <clears throat> they all have Netflix and app capabilities but why am I making this video well basically I just wanted to point out this weird spot down here this little dark arc in the bottom left of the TV uh, I actually found out about this about a month ago and within the first week of May I actually called Sony they actually said they were gonna send me a new TV which is the 850c so I'm kinda glad about that thank goodness and I don't wanna soft sell a extended warranty or anything but if I could turn back the clock I definitely would have gotten one because here's the thing like if you just watch let's see if I can find a video here we go if you're just watching a video or a movie or something it's very hard to notice that dark spot down there you know because it's it's you know something that you wouldn't really actively look for I happened to turn the uh, PS4 or PS3 on I was gonna play some Yakuza 5 and it was on the home screen just like this I came back down here from the kitchen after getting a snack or drink or whatever I look at it and I was like what the fuck is that so I called Sony and they were like yeah send us a picture I did and then they said it wasn't normal I was like no shit and they said well we'll send you a new TV so this new TV I'm looking forward to it it's supposed to be physically identical to this one has all the same inputs and everything all the same features plus Android OS which eh, that's cool and all I like Android but I don't need an Android TV or a smart TV for that matter now the 3d feature that is one thing I want to actually touch on this TV uses a passive 3d setup it uses these nice cheap lightweight and yes I am a cheap ass lightweight glasses that really aren't too bad you can get a whole box of those for like five dollars at most stores most electronic stores this new TV that they're sending me the 850c does not have passive 3d and you may say well the advantage is it doesn't cut your resolution well that's great but now you get to pay sixty dollars for two pair of glasses or one pair of glasses whereas here it's just you know when it comes to 3d it's already a niche feature anyway I don't really use it that much I use it what was it since I bought this TV, <clears throat> this TV I'll probably use it six or seven times at the most and I haven't used it for more than an hour at a time to play probably doom in 3d a couple other 3d games like uh, motor storm was pretty fun in 3d for you know a time or two but other than that that's it do I really want to spend an additional sixty dollars for that eh, I don't know hopefully this new TV comes with it if it does not I'm gonna probably complain about it y'all make another video so uh, be sure to stay tuned I'm supposed to be getting this new TV on Wednesday and I'll probably take that opportunity to show us taking this TV down or after we get it down and the horrible mess that this is going to make. And then we'll have the new TV up in no time and we'll actually do another video going over it and seeing, you know, what I think about it. Hopefully that new TV doesn't have this same problem. To my understanding, that's just some kind of a fluke. I happen to be one of the only people on the planet that had this issue with this TV. I looked it up online, couldn't find a fucking thing about it, so... In any case, stay tuned. You'll see a new video pretty soon with this uh with an update on this.